Starting with our humble beginnings over 50 years ago, FMN began as a single site flour mill in the port of Apapa. In the years to follow, we've grown to become the largest fast moving consumer food business in Nigeria and one of the largest in all of Africa. We're publicly listed and employ over 12,000 great people. Really, if uh, you look at the name, Flour Mills of Nigeria, it tends to anchor us in one dimension of wheat milling. And that does not today, you know, really capture who we are. We are a group of company, multifaceted, operating in many industries in Nigeria. And therefore, we have rebranded to be known today as FMN. Flour Mills is structured into three broad areas. The food group, the agro-allied group, and all the support and logistic services. The business-to-business -business group really has been the center, and for over 50 years, you know, we have operated in this area, supplying products to corporate customers, and uh, this business-to-business uh, -business, uh, arm of the food group really accounts for over 160 billion Naira turnover on a yearly basis. And uh, even with the fact that the company is veering into the business to consumer, the business to business still remains, you know, the foundation and the solid rock and the pillar upon which every other thing rests, you know, as a springboard, you know, for the rest of the business. We used to manufacture flour and wait for our customers to come to our gates to pick it up. Now we have become much more focused on the outside world. From where it will come the growth in the coming years? It will come not only from our traditional products, but also from our investment around $80 million in edible oil with a backward integration with palm. Flour isn't the only thing that we sell. We have a, a, a wide range of, of products. Um, we have the number one pasta business in the world. We have a very large facility both in uh, Igamo and in Agbara, and uh, Agbara being a more recent investment. We introduced ourselves into the noodles business five years ago, and it's taken five years for us to arrive at a point where we are now the clear number two in the market and continuing to gain ground against the number one. Over the last years, we have invested an average of 50 billion naira per annum. How did we spend this money and why? We spend it first on uh, converting, if you want, our B2B business, mostly a flour in bulk, to more a B2B to B2C business, which is products which are being aimed to be consumed by consumers, not by industrial companies. This is a very important change for us. It means higher margins for our company. And uh, for the business to consumer group, uh, this is a new area that is fast, you know, developing in the group and uh, we are focusing our attention and expertise on this area because we recognize it as value adding and of course in the last uh, financial year it, it accounted for over 100 billion Naira. We have recently invested in a sugar refinery. $250 million investment into, into the sugar business. Um, the sugar can be used, obviously, for industrial purposes, but it also goes to bakers, who we obviously serve with flour, for them to be able to make bread. But also, we have invested around 25 billion Naira in uh, uh, sugarcane plantations, as well as uh, a necessary refinery in Sunti. This will enable us in the next 18 months to produce an average 100,000 metric ton of sugar per annum. So this is part of our backward integration which comes from our main refinery here in Apapa. So the growth in the coming years is going to come from both sugar, edible oil, from also capex capital expenditures that we are doing to expand our noodle business, but also entering snacks. Further new categories, we're looking at a range of different snacks. We already have two in the market, another two will be coming shortly. And this is about 
Again, trying to provide what the consumer wants at the point they want it. We listen to the voice of the consumer, we interact with consumers, we interact with our customers to be able to understand what are the drivers for their food needs. And doing that, we also recognize local and indigenous peculiarities. So we try to adapt our food offerings to suit the taste and flavor profiles of individual and ethnic Nigerian consumers. All of that has required that we focus in a different way on consumers, understanding consumers, how consumers react to our offerings, what their needs are, what their need states are. There are growth factors that we have identified. For instance, Nigeria is growing at the rate of about 3% per annum. That is adding about 5 million Nigerians every year. That is one growth factor. The second one is the fact that the GDP of Nigeria is growing at about 7%. What that means is that disposable income is increasing and uh, the demography of Nigeria is changing. We are building more and more the middle class. The statistics will say that there are between 30 and 40 cities of more than a million people in Nigeria. The fact that we have the Golden Transport Company distributing our goods all across the country, that has given us a competitive advantage. Because of our experience, we know the route to the market, we know how to navigate Nigerian roads, we know what problems and how to overcome the challenges in the environment that we operate in. This gives us a heads up and an advantage over any other business in Nigeria. As far back as 1972, we started the Nigerian Bag Manufacturing Company that supplies uh, bags, not just uh, for our own operations, but for the Nigerian market. We want our quality to flow through from the raw materials, which are of natural blend, to the, to the product itself and to the recipe itself. We want quality to be seen all through. And so that's what we have tried to reflect on our products. As for the support and logistics services, under this, we have the Apapabog terminals. Uh, because the federal government of Nigeria gave us a 25-year concession to run terminals A and B, which is bus one, two, three to five at the Apapa boards. We use this to bring in cargo worth three million metric tons per annum, uh, servicing our own uh, imports and also the third party imports as well. The significance of the port to the entire niche is, uh, cannot be understated. Two thousand thirteen, fourteen, fifteen have been for me what I would call transition years towards a new, a different flour mill, a different FMN. This has enabled us to prepare the future. The Agri Allied Division um, will see considerable uh, growth. We we already have um, large investments exceeding four hundred million U.S. dollars. We expect those investments to grow over the next five years to an excess of a billion US dollars. This will make the Agri-Allied Division of Flour Mills of Nigeria the largest Agri-Allied business in the region. Over 15 years ago, you know, we started looking inwards in order to develop locally produced raw materials uh, by acquiring a farm far up in Kaboji, Niger State. That was the beginning of our Agro-Allied uh, operations and um, it is one of the largest commercial farms in Niger. In the last few years, FMN has invested millions of dollars in its agricultural holdings and its agricultural businesses. This includes a number of different crop value chains. It includes our soya, our maize, sugar, rice, palm oil. Um, all of these crops are part of the agricultural transformation agenda in Nigeria. The idea of the agricultural um, holdings and our agri-allied business is to ensure that we are producing some of the raw materials to support our processing facilities and to ensure that our basket of goods 
of food goods is supported locally by um, raw materials that we grow partially ourselves and partially aggregate from other growers. We already have assets of over 400 million in this division and that will grow to over a billion US dollars within the next five years. This is and should remain the largest agro-allied business in the region. This we have done and uh, continue to invest you know, very heavily in other value chains. For instance, we also have the maize value chain. The maize we produce locally, process it into animal feed and uh, thereby supplying poultry industry. We also have the sugar cane value chain. Uh, this is part of the Nigerian sugar master plan whereby we have to cultivate our own uh, sugar cane, crush it and produce the raw sugar so that we can uh, have it refined into consumable sugar in our refinery in Lagos. So we have these value chains developing and we are investing not just in agriculture but in agri-processing, thereby providing job and adding value to Nigerian raw materials. It is a full strategy which um, supports the golden penny basket of goods and sees that right from the farm to the fork we are supporting the nation in its food requirements. Because FLAM is, is committed to good corporate practices and procedures which will be in line with global practices. In other words, we try to conduct our, our business in a fair, honest manner, transparent manner, and with a high level of integrity and ethical standards. The code is very important, not only from our own point of view, it is a requirement of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Our values in Epimen support our vision. They define those principles that guide the conduct of all our employees as individuals and collectively our conduct as an organization. When we go to negotiate business in government, even we are now proud to carry our annual reports and other documents which show clearly how involved we are in corporate social responsibility because that's the only way we can meet government expectations. It's an area where we are now a force to be reckoned with in Nigeria. Take, for example, we are involved in, Su in Sunti. We are involved in uh, Kaboji. We are putting smiles on the face of the community members because we constructed new classroom blocks. We provided them with bonds. We equipped the hospital or maternity center. And we also equipped them with a generator. And it was a, a big plus for the image of Flamings of Nigeria PLC in uh, Kaboji. PILOT is a framework that all our employees associate with because it captures all our core values and helps us to continue to build a winning culture that's shared by all our employees. This is a highly competitive environment. Everybody wants to be here because the opportunities are enormous. Last year, we managed to increase our sales of pasta by 20%. This is already in a, in a, in a big category. The vision of FLAM is, is to be the leading food company in Africa, uh, of course, starting with Nigeria. What that means is that we want to provide for consumers of all age groups. And we want to provide for consumers from waking up to the time they go back to sleep. That means we are looking at all the food points and food opportunities to provide affordable and quality nutrition for all classes of Nigerian consumers. The company will position itself to become a value-adding company for not just the customers, but also consumers, for employees and all the shareholders. And of course, FMN will stand for a mark of quality and innovation, leading people in this dynamic environment towards a goal of becoming the leading food company on the continent of Africa. We've invested over 160 billion Naira, or one billion dollars, over the last five years. And we will be investing over another 160 billion Naira, or one billion dollars, over the next three years. With all of our current and future investments in our industry, 
and in our people, FMN is positioned to be the leading food group across the continent of Africa. We follow through on our commitment as a company that feeds the nation, and we strive to put a golden penny smile on all our customers and all our stakeholders' faces.